machine ready, steady aim at the target I'm flooding the market, a break from the garbage An artist, sensitive about mind pardon No margin for error, flawless be rarer The black cat goddess, you walking with a panther Painting these pictures with words like some Hey, it's your girl, Madam Money, a.k.a. Trap, 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 and welcome to the Salt in the Game double album review of Graf's Good Energy and Saigon's Triple Seven of Resurrection. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and let's get it. Now, I know I don't usually come across with no double album reviews and shit like that, but I, f I felt listening through Graf's body of work, it would be a good time to bring up uh, Saigon's uh, triple seven. Now I know I was giving um Saigon grief on the timeline is well deserved because when I hear a project like what Graf <clears throat> did on Good Energy, you feel me? It makes me want somebody like Saigon to have dropped a project like that. Now you know they are they are two like tri-state area mixtape kings. Let's not ever forget or get that shit fucked up. And I have respect for both of them. It's like when they come up, they always was putting out work, 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 work. Like if you go through their mixtape and shit like that, like you would definitely understand. Like dog, they've been in the game so long, spitting these bars. So I have a, a respect for both of them. But let's get through this. Um, graph album real quick all right uh this is his second project of the year uh coming after the oracle three and just like i said like the original oracle came out like in the early 2000s like let's be clear here um the first track on here my blessing featuring eric bellinger was a really really dope in, in introspective track i call a man in the mirror track you feel me where he's just talking about you know himself his growth and what he has going on right now then it goes into the track good energy which is a dope ass beat it's a dope vibe on there too i definitely appreciate it uh good energy it's like he was speaking for me on that track too so you want to get in my mind a little bit listen to the uh you know title track on this album you for me because that's exactly how i be coming across on things um the third track on here is what made me think of Saigon's album and this track is called Killing Kings. It has Ray Emanuel in my Sone and um Sly Paper. Now I do want to give my son his um his props because for New York and the tri-state area at least this is one of our most vocal advocates we have in the streets regardless of whatever is going on if it has anything to do with you know our community you know uh being frowned apart or being treated badly or anything like that my son is always at the forefront of these things so straight off the rip i have to say salute to him on that but this track right here was really really dope and you know powerful messages on here as well like yo this was a good this was a really really good project um number track no number fourth track on here no issue no consignment after that i was like no 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 all right um did he has a drought featuring 38 special on there you feel me 38 he always comes uh comes through real hard with whatever feature that he's on i was really happy to see him on this project too because graph is somebody who's who's like around like you know we might uh her um like graph a little bit more than saigon through this whole time period because graph he definitely be over there with you know the trust movement loyalty and trust and stuff like that he has some of the um some like some dope features over there like one of my favorite features in the world is on um contract contract plus the bag with free law kicking that up uh after that uh customer featuring jim jones you know you're just a customer they didn't use the jay-z sample but they got they're using his lyrics in there to get their point across on that after that is trapping out the hyatt with smoke Dizzle and el camino again just a banger and the last track on there crazy featuring doc now like i said i started thinking about saigon's album on there because they both been in the game such a long time with each other when i heard seven seven um resurrection i was looking for something a little bit more polished like you feel me i, I said that you know saigon sounded a little rusty to me and he's been putting out work too and i don't think that you know this type of thing it's like should have escaped him and got away with him with some of the um the joints that was on here again like you know seven seven in um resurrection starts off with pain in my life part two on god another you know man in the mirror track so like that that's what i said like the similarities here like even how they kicked it off they kicked it off with these you know introspective man in the mirror tracks after that is promise ring after that is um 
bullets 19 and that's like the conscious track on here you feel me and he has these con conscious indentations and you know bars throughout the whole project as does graph on his project but it's just something about how saigon like put it together and came across it didn't really sit right with me where i would want to like listen to it again so uh, you know it's just like one of these things um whatever have you after that spooky then um after that the mf effect featuring coogee rap it's always good to see coogee rap rapping you feel me this is one of one of our like you know like our founders of this shit like our our foundation works of this shit as we move along through the eras of hip-hop so it's always good when he does lend himself to people and you know you could you, you see that he respects them enough that he's willing to work with them so that's always good um number six little big number seven middle finger song and it's like you know this like album was like such an afterthought it was like such an afterthought and i really was expecting more from it and i don't mean that in any like a disrespectful way because you know how i cut across this at any given time i say what the fuck i feel i just really wish that some way in there this was like just a little bit more elevated like this graph project is and that's why i decided to just sit here and do like you know like try to compare the two because it is they they got like that same thing going on here but graph just puts his together just way better in my opinion but let me know how you feel about um graphs project good energy let me know how you feel about saigon's um project double seven um resurrection because i know that came out not a while ago and the reason why i didn't do like a full review on it is because i didn't want to come through there and just try to murder this cat because he is speaking some powerful stuff on here it's just like you know it's just a little rusty to me but i'm meta money you can follow me on twitter at meta money says and on ig at m-a-d-a-m-m-o-n-e-y-s-a-y-s S, you feel me but let me know how you feel about the two of this and do you like am i tripping to compare these two even though like i said these these people both been around since like the year 2000 spitting bars and they are mixtape kings tri-state area mixtape kings and it's it's crazy because they both have like this similar like name and lane for themselves even coming all like 20 years later they still on the same level with me but let me know how you feel about that all right he's back you don't know where my peeps at i keep that heat that i like you so much talking about kundalini just to glow up